Hello, happy Monday. It is time for another ship with me and I sound chipper, but this weekend was not great. It was okay actually, it was fine. So we're gonna go over everything that sold this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and how much I made from everything. Gross profit wise, which is my profit after all cost of sales, which includes my cost of goods, my fees and my shipping. So let's skip the long intro and dive into it. All right, so Friday I had $267.49 in sales and then my gross profit from that was $118.95. I actually had a few sales that I shipped out on uh, Friday morning, so I won't be shipping those out today, but I'll go over them with you. But first, Let's do my eBay sale. So I had one eBay sale on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is what I think contributed to just the okay sales weekend. Because Poshmark was actually okay. So sometimes it ends up being that way where one platform just really lags and one platform pulls a lot of weight. But this was actually a good sale because this was a retail arbitrage purchase I made a very long time ago like a very, very long time ago. Actually, it was online arbitrage, online retail arbitrage, uh, which is the riskiest form of arbitrage in my experience. So uh, this was a pair of new tag girlfriend Carolina high-rise jeans I bought online. I think, I forget where, uh, it's like maybe bluefly.com for $56.70, Oh, I need to grab stickers. Which Girlfriend was actually a really hot brand at the time. I mean, it still sells pretty well, but not like it used to. So this is a pair of Carolina jeans, which is also one of the best styles by Girlfriend. And I actually bought two of them in a size 24. I still have both of them. Well, now I just sold one of them, but I literally bought this in 2020, I think. And I have had them 1,047 days. So very happy that one of them sold now. Uh, I don't do any online retail arbitrage anymore for that reason. It's just very expensive and risky. You can be stuck with things for a long time. Um, but I had relisted these several times. So I had them listed at $125 and then someone purchased them with my 30% off offer for $87.50 plus $7.99 shipping, which gave me a whopping gross profit of $11.72. So, wouldn't do that again, but I'm very glad that it sold. Okay. Okay, so let me go over three sales that I shipped out Friday morning uh, that sold on Friday. So the first was this Bowden Esme blouse. Really cute. I got it in the bins for 90 cents. And I had it listed for 38 and it sold to an offer for 25, which gave me a gross profit of $17.08. And I only had that listed for five days. So that was a really good sale. I like selling Bowdoin, especially cute pieces like that and more recent pieces like that. Next was a pair of new tag Susina Adara snake skin. I can't say it's snake skin <laughs> printed wedge sneakers, uh, which I got in liquidation for $4.85. I had it listed for 35 and I sold it or someone sent me an offer for 20, which I accepted, which gave me a gross profit of $9.13, and it sold after 255 days. And then my last one that I shipped out on Friday was a pair of PacSun painted workwear carpenter pants. I found these at the bins. I wasn't sure if it was a DIY paint job, because that, that has been trendy, especially since I think Emma Chamberlain did it one time on her channel. So a lot of people just went to town on their jeans with paint and ruined a lot of good pairs of jeans. She ruined a pair of redone, <laughs> several pairs of redone jeans. When I was watching that video, I was like, what? Why? Anyway. So no, this was actually, these pants were actually professionally painted by PacSun. So they came like that from PacSun. But anyways, I got these for 84 cents at uh, bins and I listed for 30 they sold full price on Poshmark for 30 so that's great and that gave me a profit of 21.14 and sold after 148 days okay so let's jump back 
to Poshmark sales where I left off on Friday. I sold a pair of Free People Intimately Adela shorts. I got these at the bins, super lightweight, which is always nice. And I got these for 77 cents from the bins and I had them listed for 30 and I sent out 30% off offers to everyone who likes anything in my closet automatically using Posture BA, which is my favorite automation tool, um, which I highly recommend to you if you haven't tried it yet. You can use my code MOGIBETH for two weeks free and 20% off your first purchase. Um, so you might as well just try it free. It's you know, a great tool. Um, you can send offers, you can send bulk offers, you can share your closet, which is what I use it for as well. So anyway, um, I sold it for 30% off to an offer to Liker for $21, which gave me a gross profit of $14.01 and it sold after 150 days. And so that was a good sale. I was happy about that. Um, And then, so some, this was a uh, rare occurrence. Someone asked to trade, and I said, no, I don't you know, do trades, but you're welcome to send me an offer. Typically, that leads nowhere. Um, but this actually led somewhere, <laughs> led to a sale. It led to a sale like days, like maybe a week later. Um, the person sent me an offer. She was like, okay, I'll send you an offer when, I don't know, so and so happens, I forget. And so she did, which was cool. Um, this is a really cute pair of new with tag, or new with box, I should say, Toy Birch Sport triple snap strap sneakers in this cute mint color. These were a size five. I got these in my shoe liquidation palette, which is the last liquidation palette I ever ordered. And um, I had a list for 85. She sent me an offer for 50, which I accepted, and they gave me a gross profit of $28.17, and they sold it after 187 days. So let me, okay, these are wrapped pretty well. Let me get these packaged up. Will this fit in a shoebox? Yes, perfectly. We typically prepackage shoes, but when we got this liquidated shoe palette, almost everything was new in box. So it's like, why store it in a box if you're just going to already be safely stored in its own box? So we just kept it in its own box. y'all's sales been in March? I am very curious. I have not been <laughs> listing like I should be. Which I'm not angry about. I've been busy with a million other things, but um, definitely impacting sales. So I need to figure out a way to be more consistent. Just life has changed so dramatically recently for me that I am in a process of recalibrating and figuring out what my new systems are. But I'm slowly getting closer to figuring it out and figuring out what my new expectations of self can be because what I could expect even just two months ago is not what I can expect of myself now. Okay, so my last sale on Friday was a pair of Anthropology Chino Floral Bird, those striped and tropical print pants. Really cute. Got these at the bins for a dollar and eight cents. And I had them listed for 38 and they sold for 26 to an offer to Liker. Thanks, Pasha VA. Give me a gross profit of $17.70, and they sold after 72 days, which is not bad, a little over two months. So that was Friday. 
Saturday was actually fewer sales. <laughs> I had $135.99 in sales and then $87.30 in gross profit. Uh, only had four sales. Like usual, Sunday was my best day uh, because on Sunday, using Posture VA, I send out 40% off offers on my entire closet. But actually, it was my best day regardless of doing that because I did that pretty late in the day. Usually I like to do it in the morning, but I did it pretty late. And so it didn't actually garner as many sales potentially as I would have liked, but it still did okay. But I had one really good sale as well. Okay, anyway, stop rambling. Let's talk about Saturday. So first was my eBay sale. And it was this sundry tea. Got this in liquidation for $3.62. I had it listed for 25. I received an offer for 16 plus 4.99 shipping, which I accepted. Which after shipping and fees gave me a gross profit of eight dollars and 37 cents. And that's because I do promoted listings on eBay, and I just do seven percent across the board. So on a lot of my sales, I do have an ad fee as well as an eBay platform fee. Not all of them, because not all of them sell from promoted listings, but yeah, it definitely eats into my gross profit. Another thing that's eating into my gross profit is the increase in shipping on Poshmark. It's so now with the most the smallest shipping discount you can provide is two dollars and two cents. And I do shipping discounts on virtually all of my sales, so um, that's pretty significant, especially for sales under $20, uh, which, you know, $2.02 .02 for shipping cost isn't that high if it weren't for the 20% platform fee on top of that, so I'm definitely um, it's not insignificant, it is significant, and it, it's starting to make me question a bit if I should offer a shipping discount. Especially on items that I project to sell for less than twenty dollars. Okay, and especially, especially on items I project to sell for less than fifteen dollars, because then that's a flat rate fee of a uh, dollar or of three dollars. So it goes up even higher in your marginal costs. Okay, so anyways. Next sale was actually a really interesting one. I got this for free. I don't know when, but it was sitting around the office and before Tomas left, um, we were just going through all the ins and odds of what was hanging around the office and this dress came up. I'm like, where'd this dress come from? And they were like, oh, it was returned alongside another return. <laughs> so someone had purchased a dress, returned it, and then included another dress. I don't know if they were giving it to us as a gift or they accidentally returned it thinking they were returning someone else. Hope that's not the case. Hope it was a gift. Anyway, I have no idea when it was returned. So um, I was like, okay, well, let's go ahead and list it. It was this Calvin Klein sequin chic cocktail dress. I think they said they had included a note like, here's an extra dress, thanks, or something. So um, I listed it. I love selling formal wear from, Cal from um, Calvin Klein. And uh, it was, I listed it for 60 bucks. Got it for free, obviously. And then it sold for 36. I think someone sent an offer for 36, which I accepted, uh, which gave me a gross profit of $26.78. And it sold after only 15 days. So I love selling formal wear. So that was a good sale. And then another thing I love selling, talked about on this channel, is Lululemon skirts or skorts. And this is a Lululemon run speed skirt in white. And I got this from the bins for $1.05. And had it listed for $70. And someone accepted my Posture VA 30% off offer for $49, which gave me a gross profit of $36 and 13 cents and it sold after 85 days 
So that is good. I love selling skirts by Lululemon, skirts and sports, because it's a category by Lululemon that tends to have a pretty high average sales price and a decent sell-through rate. And it's lightweight, small, and typically pretty cheap. And then my last sale on Saturday was this new tag, Vince Reverse Placket Slim Fit Shirt. I just listed so low. I mean, yeah, it didn't sell for a little while. Um, but it is new tag. It retails for $195. I had it listed for $50. I mean, I'm sure I priced it based off of comps. Maybe this category by Vince just doesn't sell very well. But it's just a really, really nice men's gray collar button down. Got it in liquidation for $5.96. Had it listed for $50. Someone sent me an offer for $25. I countered with $30, which they accepted. So $198 shirt, new with tags. I got for $30, which I think is a steal. And I offered a shipping discount, so they only paid $5.95 or whatever in shipping. Um, and so that came to a gross profit of $16.02, which and it sold after 170 days. So it wasn't flying off the shelf. I don't think I over or underpriced it, but still, when I saw that, I was like, man, I don't remember that. <laughs> Why is that price so low? But, oh, it's nice to offer good deals to people when you can. All right. So that leads us to Sunday. Gosh, we're flying through this one. I'm happy about that because I want to get some stuff done before I head home. Okay. Sunday. Had a Mercari sale. I only had one Mercari sale this weekend. And I had an eBay sale. But wait, let me go over my... Overall, Sunday stats, I had $622.99 in sales, which resulted in a gross profit of $338.42. Okay, so the first sale from Sunday was a Mercari sale. Actually, it wasn't my first sale on Sunday, but the first one I'm gonna go over. And um, it was a Lulu's black off-the-shoulder bodysuit. And I got this at the bins for a dollar and four cents. And I had it listed, I think I were cried for 18 and someone sent me a very reasonable offer for 16. It might've been actually 19. Um, and so that is, an, I do free shipping on Mercari. So uh, with that shipping and their fees, um, I had a gross profit of $8.16. And it sold after only 35 days. Lulu's is a bread and butter brand that I love selling, so I was happy about this sale. My one and only sale on Mercari, which I know there are sellers who only sell on Mercari, which blows my mind because it just doesn't have the volume that um, Poshmark does for me, and not even eBay. But um, I'm not, I don't have as many listings on Mercari as I do uh, Poshmark or eBay. So I still haven't even cracked the eBay code. But anyway, I think I, that's a whole other story for a whole other day. All right, so next. <laughs> so one day at the bins, no, not this one. One day at the bins, I was, um, came across a bunch of men's ties and I was like, oh, let's try this out. <laughs> so I did. Picked up a few silk Ted Baker ties and then one Hugo Boss silk tie, which is this one. And they haven't really done much. They haven't sold much. So I, uh, when I listed them all for $30, I think each. And when I got an offer on eBay for this Hugo Boss one for $10, I checked Poshmark and it had zero likes on it, and I was just like, okay, let's go ahead and sell it. Even though I hadn't had it really that many, hadn't that long, it just, 
I'm not sure. I think 30 might have been asking too much, and even if not, let's just move it. So I got it at the bins for 79 cents, and um, again, listed for 30, sold it for 10 plus 4.99 shipping, and that gave me a gross profit of 6.67. So certainly I'm not correct the code on ties and what ties do well, but they're so lightweight and so easy to store and ship and list that I might still attempt to figure out, you know, what ties sell well. If y'all sell ties, let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, um, yeah, I had that only 40 days, so that's not too bad. Uh, and then, moving on to Poshmark. So, this is a style I love selling. It's the J brand Natasha jeans, and I buy them oftentimes through online arbitrage. I've talked about it on this channel several times. So this was one of those sales. Um, I list them usually for $100. This one was listed for $100. I purchased it online for $23.30 and received an offer for $60, which I accepted, which gave me a gross profit of $22.68. And it sold after only 27 days. So that's, to me, a really good sale. Very happy. That's exactly what I like to see. I sold another pair of this style uh, earlier this week. So it's a strategy that's paying off for me. All right, and then, in fact, I have another box with some of those sitting right there. I need to list those. Okay, um, from Thread Up. Next is a pay, or is a uh, bins, a really good bins find. There's a new tag, made well, really pretty. Uh, it's called Light Spun Harlow Square Neck Gauzy Peasant Blouse. It's, you know, this gauzy material. I'm obsessed with this material. I um, was contemplating keeping this, but I decided to list it. Um, it cost $1.09. I listed for 37 Sold for 25 That is, was the offer to Liker. Um, and that gave me a gross profit of $16.89, and it sold after 92 days. Alright. Very good. Okay, next. Let's get this. Going to Austin, Texas. I want to go to Austin. Alright. Alright, next is another bins find. Lots of bins finds, so which is good. Um, and this is a really cute free people tee. It's called the Denver tee. It's got these kind of um, billowy sleeves, at least if I remember it correctly. And another thing, another piece I was like thinking about keeping, but I didn't. Um, and it, I got it bins for 96 cents, had it listed for 30, sold offer to Liker for 30% off, $21, which gave me a gross profit of $13.82, and it sold after only 62 days. Don't get this in this one. Next was a pair of shoes. This was also from Shoe Palette. Uh, I actually didn't have, do you guys ever have this situation where you go down your inventory, you see something, and you're like, I know I don't have that listed. <laughs> and so you realize, okay, so, uh, something happened. What happened with these is um, I had multiple quantities of these, but I only had it listed as a one quantity. So when I sold that one quantity, I know I had these listed, I had three more. So anyway, figured that out. Listed them last week again, um, and listed them for 45, and they sold, one sold for 30% off for $31. Uh, I got them through liquidation for $9.81, so after 
all my fees and cost of goods, I had a gross profit of $12.97 and I sold after only three days. So, yay, happy about that. Let's see if it fits, let's see if it fits in here. Yay, just barely once again. In fact, I can probably just take this. I will not clean shoes. So that takes a lot of shoes off the off the table for me. But I love shoes is like one of my favorite categories to sell. I just really like Tomas did not like photographing shoes. I love photographing shoes. They're so easy to me to photograph. Um I like selling them. They have good average sales prices. They have good seller rates. They're good to sell on Poshmark because shipping costs. I mean, paying eight dollars for shipping shoes definitely makes more sense than like a tank top. But I just don't come across a ton of shoes at the bins or at regular Goodwills for me to sell. So. Try to be more vigilant at finding shoes. And if I found a liquidation source or a retail arbitrage source to buy shoes in bulk, I'd definitely consider it because I just really like selling shoes. Okay, I actually skipped one. I skipped a sale. So before that sale, I had a different sale. And it was this sun another sundry tea. I got a bunch of these sundry teas in liquidation. Uh, one time, a long, long time ago, uh, but this one is a navy one, but had $3.62 into it, and had it listed for $20, sold offers to Likers for $14, and it gave me a gross profit of $5.41, and before you start getting all excited about liquidation, I had this for 413 days. <laughs> Walking five dollar profit in four hundred and thirteen days. But you know what? I'm very, very happy it sold. So yay. Oh that reminds me, I need to go thank everyone who's purchased something today. I'm very bad at that. <laughs> I'm very inconsistent. Some days I'll send thank you, some days I'll just completely forget. So I need to be better about that. Okay, next is a good sale. This is if I could do this kind of sale every day, this is my favorite. It's something I just listed and just uh, sold. So I just copied the listing. Literally this exact style, this exact size, exact condition. I listed it, I, I bought it, list, copied the listing, sold the next day. Yes, we love it. It wasn't a crazy profit, it was a good profit though. I mean, I spent good money on it. So it was new tag Reformation Xena dress. Um, spent thirty-eight dollars and sixty-six cents because I got it at Crossroads. It was hanging up on the on the wall, so I was like, "Can I please get that down?" I just sold that, and it split quickly last time. <laughs> I, I didn't tell them this, obviously. I don't want them to know I'm reseller, but you know. Anyway, took it down, got it. Spent thirty-eight dollars sixty-six cents on it. I listed it for $118, someone sent me an offer for $85, which I promptly accepted, and that gave me a gross profit of $27.32, which you might be like, hey, that's less than what you spent, but I mean, it was like very little work to make $27.32, so I'll take it all day long. If I if care, I have a whole video on this, but... Um, I care more about my profit, my gross profit versus my gross profit margin. I focus more on that. So, um, if you want to see that video, it's, I'll link it up on the screen. Okay, wait, let me make sure this was the right one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, ooh, okay, so next is my good sale, yay, of the day. 
Then, da -da -da. when I got this sale, I said, oh, I got a good offer. Um, very, very happy about it. Beautiful. This new tag bash, B A and S H, Caracas mixed media lace jumpsuit. I had a lot of likes and questions about this, both on Poshmark, both on Poshmark and eBay. Um, but it hadn't sold, so I got this through liquidation. I had six dollars into it, and I had it listed for two hundred fifty dollars. And I received an offer for 200 great offer. And so I promptly accepted it, which gave me a gross profit of $146.03. So now the sundry sale may have diffused your enthusiasm for liquidation, but maybe you're now curious once again. <laughs> Um, but before you get too excited, it took 546 days to sell, so, um, but you know what, I'll wait 546 days for a $146 profit. So it came when I needed it, and I'm grateful, happy about the sale, very, very happy. Going to LA. Hooray. What a fine day in LA. All right, next was, okay, so then that's when my, um, I did my 40% off sale and those sales started coming through. So it was late in the day, like I said. So the first sale from my, I sent 40% off offers on everything in my closet. My first sale was from uh, was this new attack Nordstrom signature bias cut dress and really beautiful dress. I got this through liquidation for four dollars and eighty five cents, and I had it listed for fifty dollars, and it sold forty percent off for thirty. I think I had a flaw or two, which is why I listed it low, um, but. Uh, that gave me a gross profit of $17.13 and it took 270 days to sell, so took some time, but it was a good sale. And then I sold another liquidation piece. And it was a pair of these new tag Avenue. I don't really know this brand. Um, uh, I don't think, but it was new tag, so I went ahead and listed it. New tag Avenue olive five pocket straight like jeans in a size 16, and that's another reason why uh, I was keen on getting it listed, and it was a good size. Um, and I had these listed for 25. With the 40% off, um, that's 15, but then someone countered my 40% off for 13, which I just went ahead and accepted. So it gave me a gross profit of $2.03, um, but that's fine, got my money back, and then a little change, which with liquidation, sometimes it's all you can ask for. So, and it took, it took 62 days, so that's not bad. Priority mail envelope. Okay. And then I had a bins sale. How am I going to ship this? This is a Urban Outfitters faux leather crossbody purse. And I actually picked this up to take to Crossroads, took it to Crossroads, and they didn't accept it. So I sold it, and um, I had it listed. I got it at, for a dollar and eight cents. Had it listed for twenty-five, and then someone accepted my forty percent off offer for fifteen. So they gave me a gross profit of eight dollars and ninety cents, and I had it listed for fifty-five days. Okay, let's see. I think I will. Put it in a box. 
So let me wrap it in a couple pieces of tissue paper. This might take a little second, so bear with me. Come on. Come on, tissue paper. Okay. been since we have some time going around the reselling community is social media and the merits or lack thereof I'm spending time on social media Sellers on Instagram just kind of decided to uh, leave Instagram, which um, I'm uh, I'm definitely someone who's like, if you want to leave social media, leave social media. Like, do what you need to do for your for yourself, your mental health. Like, whether it's temporary or permanent, who cares? Just do it. Um, and I am someone who has gone from spending a ton of time on social media to I am very bad. <laughs> I'm just like neglectful of social media at this point. My DMs are just like, I, it gives anxiety to think about going into them because I just have so many, I just haven't been in there in like a couple weeks, I feel like. Um, so, and also just having a baby, I'm like, I, you know, I don't want to, we're doing no screens with her, so I try my best to not be on my phone around her, and so that leaves me very little time to be on social media, and, um, you know, my free time, I don't really want to be the scrolling, I have work to do, and I, I want to read a book or watch a show or something, so... Anyway, and honestly, if I go on social media, it's usually TikTok. So anyway, um, but I think there's a lot of merit in social media for resellers because I personally kind of really just still have a very positive view of the reselling community. Um, I think generally people are great in the reselling community. So, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Okay, wait, I just, let's get back to what we're doing. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, let me know. What do you think about Instagram, social media, reseller community, these topics that are kind of floating around. If you have, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then, um, you know, just ignore me. But yeah, curious to hear your thoughts. Next was another 40% off sale. Is this new attack Joie Danny Cashmere Blend sweater. Beautiful. Um, got it through liquidation, had it for a very long time. I had it, I think I relisted it for 80. I think I had it listed originally for 100 or more. Um, and then it sold for 40% off for 48. New with tags, which is I think a good deal, which gave me a gross profit of $30.38. It took 920 days to sell. And this is skewed because, um, you know, the liquidation inventory that sold very quickly has already sold because I haven't listed the liquidation in a very long time. Um, now I'm basically just kind of left with whatever uh, is taking longer to sell, which some pieces do and that's totally fine. Uh, some pieces do and that's not totally fine. <laughs> but discerning the difference is, uh, and I guess it depends on how much it sells for and so forth. So. Um, that was good. I'm just happy with that. And then my last sale from the week. 
weekend was this Tularosa Whitley wide leg jumpsuit, really cute. Had a list of for 75 and received an offer for 50, which I accepted. Gave me a gross profit of $28.93. And I had it for 565 days. So, Tularosa is an in house Revolve brand. So, if you're not familiar with in-house Revolve brands, I did a video on this, which I can link up on the screen in case you want to learn more about it. It was a while ago, so I'm sure there are new in-house brands that they don't cover, but for the most part, there are some like core ones that are going to be covered on there. So. That is everything for the weekend, which brings me to my overall uh, sales numbers, which my total sale for the weekend were $1,026.47, and that gave me a gross profit of $553.57. So that is roughly a 55% gross profit margin, which I would like to be around 60%, but 55 is, you know, I guess, okay. Yeah, like I said earlier, there are things eating away especially shipping, promotional fees, etc. at my gross profit margin because my cost of goods has gone down. But also I think just selling cheaper items leads to a narrower gross profit margin and my average sales price has certainly gone down and that's something actually I didn't really consider so much. So um, because you know your shipping costs are higher you know, as a percentage, when you have a lower average sales price. But anyways, let me know how your March sales are going. Uh, I'm looking again to get into the kind of systematized swing of things again this month and hopefully find a new normal. But uh, thanks so much for watching. I, uh, if, you, if you like these type of videos, be sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm here every Monday and Thursday and I talk about reselling, thrifting, business, etc. So love to have you. Thanks for joining me and I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all. Bye!